how to make an extra $500 or more donating plasma. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and get started. Before we do, I just want to let you know what plasma is for those that don't. Plasma is this yellowish liquid component of blood that contains water, electrolytes, hormones, and proteins and waste products. This is something that's crucial for maintaining blood pressure, providing nutrients, as well as removing waste. Now, here's the thing. There are some people, which is where we come in, but there are some people that need plasma for various medical treatments. And that's also including those for clotting disorders, immune deficiencies, and burns. And because there is a growing need for plasma, plasma centers are actually paying two, three, four, up to $500 or more for plasma donations in their first month. And this is something that if you're healthy and things of that nature, you can capitalize on it. You can make that extra money. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how. We're going to go over tips and tricks on what you need to do, what you need to look for, as well as how you can keep that consistent pay. This is a disclaimer. This may or may not work for you depending on your area or even more so depending on your country because there are certain countries where they actually don't pay participants for their donation for plasma. And there are other countries that would pay, but it's more so in the form of gift cards. So you should definitely check with your country to see if being paid would even apply to you. All right, so what we're gonna do now, the first tip is to look for at least three to five plasma donation centers in your area. So let's see, let's type in plasma centers near me. All right, I can see we already have one for, it looks like BioLife. It says it up to $800 a month. So we're gonna click on that. Then we're gonna scroll down to places for our map. It looks like there are quite a few locations even in this area. Um, now your area may vary. You may have one to two, three locations. You may have none, so it really depends on your area. In this case, we have about four or five, so that should be sufficient. The next step we'll need to do is we'll either need to visit the sites of all three or five or what more plasma centers. And the next thing you need to do once you visit the site, you need to go over and see if they have any offers that are currently available. In this case, we see a site right here that says that there, uh, I guess in this case, because it is at this time, around summer, you can donate plasma and get up to $800 with this specific um, BioLife Center. Now, of course, they have a asterisk, means that the offer is based on their general location, which is why it's very important to call them or walk in to make sure that that offer is available to you. So once you schedule your first appointment, the plasma center, they're gonna go for your health, as well as discuss if you are approved in their program, depending on how healthy you are, they will discuss exactly how much they will compensate you for. Let's say in this case, $800 distributed to you. Sometimes the amount of payment is gonna break up into different increments. All right, now, so we have our second plasma center pulled up here. Let me see, we do have an earning potential. Let's see how much we could make. It says new donors can earn hundreds during their first 35 days at our local plasma donation center. So that is, that's actually good news. So you earn hundreds of dollars a month. Okay, that's great. However, what I'm seeing so far is something that I had a little hesitancy is that I can see I can earn hundreds of dollars a month, but I don't see where or how much. So I'm just going to keep this right here. Let me go to our third donation center. Okay, this is our third link that we have here for, looks like it says CSL Plasma. Now, I would also want to mention that this also varies. The different types of donation centers vary. You may have a completely different donation center. So I just want to take note of that. So on our third link here, we have a plasma donation center it says be rewarded donation rewards with CSL plasma okay this is looking more like it so it says receive up to $100 your first donation and just like I said it varies by location and is subject to change all right yeah this is definitely looking more like it 
says receive over $700 your first month as a new donor, which is great. And let's see here. It says as easy as one through three. After your first donation, your payment will be loaded onto a prepaid card similar to a debit card, which is nice. It also features on the site. This can vary from location to location, but let's see here that deposits are automatic and you can use your funds right away. Receive iCard points for each donation. Okay, this is great. So we can see for CSL Plasma, we can see over $700 our first month, which is great as a new donor. So with our first link, uh, I'm very weary of this because I don't know. It says hundreds, but I don't know how many. So this right here is 700. So let's go to our third one with BioLife, and that's up to 800. This definitely looks like something that I would go with, knowing that I could make up to $800 as a first-time donor. So I guess I'm going to go with this one. And I personally would say this will probably be a very good, quick and easy, if you're healthy, very wonderful side hustle for you. You can just start donating your plasma. So just to recap, a good tip is to look for three to five plasma donations in your area. Look on the site or give them a call to see if you can find the coupon offer. If it's not on the website, just give them a call to see if they are offering any coupons for that season. Then, once you do that, just compare the three to five location coupons and see how much the amount would be if you were to go ahead and start donating your plasma. After you schedule your appointment, the donation center will discuss how they will compensate you in that amount that they present in their offer. I will say there may be a slowdown as far as you can continue to donate your plasma, but the amount that they had in an introductory offer maybe less as you continue going month after month to this plasma center. So a good tip is after, let's say about a six month period, you can start to look for other plasma centers and just repeat this process and to see if that secondary plasma center that you'll be going to has an introductory offer in the compensation amount that you think would be beneficial to you. Okay, guys, 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 please make sure you are well, you've eaten well, and that you're hydrated. Or even before you donate your plasma, there are certain foods that you must eat to make sure you keep your body healthy. And that's something that you got to keep in mind because if you don't, what happens, or rather what could happen, is you end up getting unwell. And that's definitely not something that you want to do. Um, but this definitely did happen to me. I wasn't eating as recommended uh, for the plasma center and what happened is I kept getting sick I was wondering why I kept getting sick and then it turned out to be that I wasn't replenishing the nutrients that I was supposed to every time that I were to donate my plasma so my advice or tip to you is if there are two appointments that you have to perform within a week I suggest going at the beginning of the week for your first appointment give it a few days up until maybe almost the end of the week that way your body is replenished and you feel well and healthy enough to get your second appointment and that way you should be healthy to continue the appointments uh, week after week all right so now you should know how to make up to five hundred dollars or more donating plasma if you like this video please comment share like and subscribe and we'll see you next time